everyone welcome to get ready with me louise so today i thought we would play with the jeffree star conspiracy palette that i got for christmas slash birthday you know because sagittarius here and it's all combined together lucky me um and i'm so excited because i got new brushes my bobby brown i ordered them and i got the another tom ford brush and i'm so excited on that but, I mean, I still have my Morphe and Colourpop and all those, too. So, don't, you know, I've got from high end to low end, and like I said, uh, drugstore and stuff. But, I really am going to play with the, um, I think it's still available. Hold on just a second, sorry. I know, I'm really up and close, right? Anyway, um, and I got a pimple. I started using this new uh, thing. What is it? Peace Out, I think. It's like a supposed to get rid of wrinkles anyway use it twice a week and I will say my wrinkle has got a little smaller but I don't know I'm gonna give it a little bit longer but whatever it is it's get it's really making me like have a pimple here and each time I use it actually I don't just poke myself in the eye see this is where most people would edit, it but not me it's gonna stay in but anyway I uh been getting pimples right here each time I use it. It'll go away and then I use it again on I you know. Anyway, but this. I think that this is still available, but I'm not really for sure. I haven't checked recently. But I haven't got time to play with that yet. I'm working on it though. I really like it. And especially like for travel, I think it'd be really cool because you got everything right here. You know? And color pop brushes are pretty good. I do know that because I have some from a previous order. So, I forget what order it was that it came with. I think it's the Strawberry Collection, maybe. I think that's what it was, was Strawberry Collection. But anyway, um, I'm going to be doing the Jeffree Star palette. And actually, after this, i got to get dressed in my gym clothes because i got to go to the gym. I'm trying to combine everything. Like, it's a new year, so I'm trying to do, like, get back into the groove of everything. And I don't know how yet. Like, I don't know how to eat right you know, work for my fiance, do what he needs done, do the housework, be a mom, do this, work out, stay healthy. I don't know how I'm doing it yet, but I guess we figure it out, right? Right. So anyway, I'm going to start with the Bobbi Brown brush, and it is the Eye Blender. But to me, it looks like a crease brush. Well, maybe not. It is kind of big. So with that said, I got a new brush, though. Hold on. Where is it at? I don't think I've used... I used the Marc Jacobs. I used the Home For It crease. I don't think I've used the Charlotte Tilsbury crease brush yet. No. So we're going to use it. And I'm going to go into Tanacon. Yeah. And I'm going to go right above. We got pigment. You know, honestly, Tanacon, you could cut a um, contour with it. Because it's, I mean, honestly, it's almost the same color as my contour. I kid you not. I don't know if you can see it. But it really is almost the same color as my contour. I'm going to tell you now that I don't know how I'm going to do all this, but I am determined now to do it. Honestly, I'm just determined to, to live my life to the fullest that I possibly can. The way I want to, you know? Like, I don't know if I, you know, what I really want. Like, it's so hard to know what you really want out of life, you know? And I've really been thinking about it lately. What I, what do I really, really want? Like, even in the end, like, where do I want to be? And, like, a lot of the times I'm like, I want a white picket fence. And I want to see my grandkids play. And I want to be sitting on a swing, drinking coffee while they're playing. You know, type of thing. But then I'm like, but I'm picturing myself, like, 70 doing that. You know, not now. Not 40. You know, like, I feel like, like, I know I'm getting older and I do feel it. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's like 40 isn't that old, you know, in today, you know, I, I'm not, I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's not even that old in, anymore. 
used to be 30 was old. Till I hit 30. And then 30 wasn't so bad. And then I thought 40 was old. Till I hit 40. Now I don't feel like 40 is that bad. To be honest. Maybe it is though. Well, I don't know. Alright. So I put Tanacon right above my crease. Because I have hooded eyes. And I've got that blended out. And I do love that shade. That's a very nice shade. Very, very nice. Alright. So I'm going to go into root beer now. And I'm going to do the same thing with it, but just slightly under it. Just a little teeny bit under it. Yeah, that's good shade. Uh, I really, I honestly, like I said, I will never do first impressions because I don't, I just don't believe in it. And I have played with this palette already. And I absolutely love it. And I am biased, don't get me wrong. Because I really do admire how he has built his business. So. And I know he's made mistakes. But haven't we all? I know I sure have. Alright. That's Tacon. Then I think from my inner corner. Hmm. I'm going to use this Bobbi Brown angled eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go in with, I don't know. I'm going to go in with Not a Fact. But I don't think I'm going to take it as dark as um, this is. It's like a purple. I think I'm going to do it very lightly in my outer corner. Then if you're me, you have two, like, it's the same eye. Well, I know, actually, each of my eyes are different. I can't, that's true. Each of my eyes are different. I don't know why. But, like, I can never, ever, ever get them even. I don't understand it. Like, I really don't. I don't understand how I can't get them even. For nothing in the world. No matter what I do, I can never... Or maybe I do, and I just don't see it. Because, like, I wear glasses. So, obviously, I can't wear glasses when I'm doing my makeup. And I have tried contacts. And, mm, just not my thing. It's just really not. I try, but I just can't seem to do it. And um, I think when I'm doing this sort of stuff, like, my stigmatism is making me see things a little differently than what is truly happening. You know what I mean? But I don't know if you can see it or not, but like it works, These, you know, they blend out very nicely and it's not splotchy at all. And I really do like that shade. I know they're both way off now, but it is what it is. At this point, I'll fix it. But, like, it's just, I don't know. There's just something about his colors. Like, you can make them very, bri very bright and vibrant, or you can make them subtle and stuff. Like, it's really whatever you want, in a sense.
I don't, know, I don't like them really vibrant in a sense, but well, it depends really. Sometimes I do. It kind of just really depends on my mood and you know what I mean? Which is like that with makeup. One minute you might be, oh yes. And the next minute it's like toning it down, you know, in a sense, but it is what it is. And then I think that I kind of take it too far over. I don't know. I never know. I mean, there's no really rules with makeup, you know what I mean? But I do wonder sometimes if I'm like, mm, did I take it too far? Like, should it have been over some, you know what I mean? I don't know. And where I have hooded eyes, it is so hard for me to even judge something also. And again, I'm not a makeup artist, so this is why. But from a consumer's point of view, you know, this is where I come in. Because I don't have the makeup ability, the background. So me just playing with it, these are the issues I have. But not with the, the eyeshadow, you know. The eyeshadow's perfectly fine as far as that goes. It's just me personally having issues with it. But that's another story, huh? I think I'm going to go... I wonder what it would look like. I think I'm going to go in with just a theory. Just to see what it looks like. I don't think it's really going to look all that great. I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs the shadow brush. I'm just curious about it, to be honest, if it would go okay with this color. Oh, it does. Does it look okay? I think it looks okay. I mean, to each their own, you know. I mean, I'm not doing rainbows and butterflies on my eyeballs. That would be interesting to see, though, considering I have no experience doing that. I think I'm going to make that purple just a little darker. Like, now this side looks better than this side. I'm like, I can't win from losing. I don't get it. I mean, that looks okay, don't it? I mean, from where I'm sitting, it looks okay, but maybe from there, it don't. <laughs> did I mess up? I didn't, did I? <laughs> did I? Please tell me I didn't. Oh, I probably did though, huh? For my brown bowed highlight, I am going to go in with my hourglass though. And put it right above. I'm in love with this highlight. I don't know why, but I am. Well, I know why. Because the hourglass is the bomb when it comes to highlight. I mean, a, a subtle highlight. You want to go for like blinding. Jeffree Star's got that highlight too. But for a subtle, that would be hourglass. Yeah. And then, let's see, for under the eye, 
I think I ought to take that same angled brush and go into the purple and maybe take it under the, just somewhat under there. Maybe meet it up. I don't know. See, that's the fun thing about makeup. You can just play with it. And I like that. I like just to sit and play with makeup and see, well, does this work? Does this work? And then, I think for the inner corner highlight, I'm going to go in to Diet Cola and put it in the inner corner. And I'm going to use my Persona brush for that. I really like that. This brush for my inner corner, it like fits perfectly. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can definitely see Diet Cola. But this brush, like, just fits bam, you know? And I like that. I'm like, you don't even have to get it wet. Look at that. Like, you can see. I mean, it's just such a pretty color. Honestly, I am biased. I'm not even going to pretend like I'm not. I know I am. I, I can't help myself. <laughs> All right. So, the other thing I'm going to do is curl my lashes. But, I also have a new mascara. And it's called Thrive. Um, it's by Thrive Cosmetics. And it's at Ulta. Um, they do have their own website, but Alta carries this, but it's only in-store. I was trying to buy it online, and I couldn't. It's not right. They shouldn't do that. So, I had to go in-store. And, of course, when you go in-store, there's so much other stuff. Granted, you can shop online, same thing, but it's a little different. In a sense, I guess. I don't know. I need a new eyelash curler. Anybody know any good eyelash curlers? I mean, this one was supposed to be for hooded eyes, and I guess, in a sense, it kind of is. But, I just, I'm not a fan of it, to be honest. And I do love my eyelashes right now because I've been using the um, Grande Lash Serum and, oh my goodness, loving it. I will, I mean, I know in every video I'll probably say the same thing, I love it, but I really do. Like, it really is amazing. So, this is called something, <laughs> obviously. Thrive Cosmetics is the name of it, but, or the brand. It's called Liquid Liquid Lash Extensions. It is supposed to make it look like you got um, false lashes or, liquid, oh, I guess extensions, lashes. I don't know. But I do know that it really does do a number. To my lashes. Hands down. And you can also, I mean, because I am just a consumer of makeup, obviously I probably, you know, I'm not going to be one to match up colors right. And I will say that sometimes it is hard with the Jeffree products to do that. If you don't have a vision, it's hard to know what goes with what. Where some products, some people, some companies, kind of, in a sense, make it easier. Because they match it up for you. You know what I mean? Like, I just got the new Charlotte Tilsbury palette. And it's matched up for me. 
I don't even, it's like one, two, three, you know, it, it, it's bam, bam, bam. And I noticed it when I bought her, um, her Christmas collection, Starry Nights. That's when I first noticed it. I hadn't bought an eyeshadow. No, I hadn't bought an eyeshadow until that one. And the reason being is because hers is four pan and it's $56. Now, somebody's probably saying, well, you bought four pan, four pan eyeshadow palettes by Tom Ford which were $86, I think. And you're right, but I just hadn't got around to Charlotte yet. I mean, I would have eventually, but I bought, without fail, I'm always gonna screw up, aren't I? I'm gonna pretend it's not there and just move on, and then I'll get it out later. But like these, they just, they really do make it look like I got and I don't know how it works, but it does. All right. I'm gonna have to come through these though because it looks weird. Where's my thing? Here it is. That's gotta come off though. But anyway, let me just go through these really quickly. So, as long as this mascara doesn't, like, smear or anything, I believe I found my new mascara. Now, I don't know how much, I forget how much this was. I, I know it wasn't all that pricey. It may have been a little bit up there, but nothing, you know, crazy. I don't think. But then again, whose definition are we using of crazy to? Because, I mean, I always find it funny when, like, guys are like, oh, you're crazy. You know? And I'm like, really? I'm crazy? Have you seen who you, you know? It's like, what, what is your definition of crazy? Because, like, I don't think I'm crazy. Okay. So, when you mess up, you can just use this little brush here. And I, I wouldn't suggest you tug on your eyes by no means. But you can just sort of do it like that and bam, done. So see, it, it kind of doubles, you know, it's your eye brush for your um, eyebrows and it removes mascara, which I'm pretty sure everybody knows that. But in case, you know, cause I'm a beginner, like I said, between one and a 10, I'm probably between a one and a two. Although I pretend like I'm between a two and a three, just because I want to be a little bit higher, just a little bit. Chances are I'm not though, but we're going to pretend like I am just, just for the sake of saying it I guess so then for the lower lashes as always I'm going to use my MAC extended play giga black lash and then I don't know what to do for a lip, really. What would I wear? Like a nude or? Because, I mean, it's not like it's that bright on my eyes, but, I mean, what does everybody think? What, what lipstick? I mean, what should I do in a sense? I don't know. I always like to comb out everything. I don't know why. But I do. Because I'm thinking. <laughs> Generally I do this when I'm done. But we're doing oops. But we're doing it now. Wonder if you can put a second layer on. It's just starting to get a little bit clumpy though, and I don't like that. I mean not clumpy, but like where I couldn't move it, you know? I'm kind of liking this mascara.
Curry. So it's a second coat. That one's really low. Do you see? Oh my goodness. I got like one really long eyelash there. But I mean, they kind of look a lot fuller. I will say that. And thicker. I guess that'd be the same thing, huh? I mean, they kind of are true to volume as like length and stuff. I mean, I like it. Because, let's get honest, I can be real. I suck at putting on fake lashes. I suck. I can't help it. But it's true. And it is what it is, and I understand that. So, you know. I'm going to go in with Spice as my lip liner by MAC. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Or, oh, shoot. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Now this is perfect for me. I think I'm going to leave it like this and put on, honestly, some Fitney Gloss in Fussy. Oh, yeah. I like it. Kind of. No, I like it. I like it. Mm, do you like it? I don't know. Maybe I don't like it. I mean, I do like it in a sense, but then I don't. I think it's because I don't think it goes with the eye look. But I actually like this. And uh, Okay. I know this is going to sound crazy, but... You know how when you read a book, you get the smell of the book and the excitement of opening the book and reading the book versus reading it on like your computer or your tablet? Okay, now, I love the smell of opening a book. Now, this, I love, <laughs> not, I, I do like the color of this, but I love the smell of this. It smells like a pencil. It smells like a genuine lip pencil. These don't smell like lip pencil. What else did I get? Oh, I got two more shades. Well, not of that. I got, this was Max Spice, and then I also got Lorac CEO and Goddess, just to try their pencils, because I've heard theirs was good. Can't remember who I was watching, though, that said that. I know the Thrive is Kathleen White's. I, I, without a doubt, that's where I've seen her, or seen this, is watching hers, her YouTube channel, channel, <laughs> can't talk again, this, I don't know, The Rock, I don't know, I know Buxom, I didn't order any of theirs yet, I, I'm working on everything, like, why won't I stand up, right, 
this on my desk or is it this? Like I can't figure out which one is uneven. My desk, okay. So my vanity is like not straight, but anyway. Um, I did get these two and I, I am curious, but like they don't have the smell of a pencil. You know what I mean? Like when you sharpen, like it's, there's just the smell of it. And I love that. I like opening something and just, you know, but anyway, I like the Mac pencil and spice. I think I've got two more common in two different shades. I'm not really for sure yet. I don't, <laughs> I buy stuff and then I forget. And then it comes in. I'm like, oh yeah, I ordered that. Whoops. But I will say that I, I, I like it. It's, it's cute. It's cute. I like the pencil. I like it with the um, Fenty lip or Fenty lip gloss and fussy. Um, the eyeshadow palette, of course, was the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collab. Yes, I got it. I was lucky. I was one of the lucky ones to get it. They will restock. I did get it. Took me about forty-five minutes to get it. I think I sent the checkout. Like I had four paths going. Like I was all into it. Um, cause my fiance had given me the money and like I was determined, but, um, I know that there are people out there that want it and would do such amazing looks out of it. I know this, I know that no matter what palette I have, I will never, ever, ever do it justice. I know this, but that is the point to it because more consumers are buying this stuff than actual makeup artists, you know? So what looks I do is most likely what a consumer is going to do. Now, I'm not saying that some consumers are going to go crazy and make the stars and, and draw planets and, and, and rainbows and, and all that sort of stuff. You know, I'm not saying that regular consumers that don't consider themselves makeup artists do that. But in general... Most people are just, you know, consumers, everyday consumers. And chances are they'll be wearing this just for everyday looks. They're not going to do anything outrageous, you know, rainbows on their eyes. You know, they're just going to come up with color combinations to wear. And that's kind of where I'm at. Like, I'm just a consumer trying to figure out the color scheme um, that will look okay to go out with. Now, don't get me wrong, there is no one that can say, you know, this is, this. I don't understand what it means to be work appropriate. Because, I'm sorry, if you're drawing rainbows and stars on your face, and it looks amazing, tell me why somebody can't wear that to work. Because, I, I'm going to be like, whoa, like, it's going to bring attention to it, but not in a bad way, you know? So... I guess maybe because there's people that would try to do it, it wouldn't look so hot. So therefore, work, work appropriate means like neutral colors. I don't know. I don't know what that means. So I can't really justify it. Because me, if somebody came to work for me, as long as their makeup looked okay, I wouldn't care. Honestly, if their makeup didn't look okay, I wouldn't care. Because I'd be like, I'd find something good and, and praise them on that, you know? Or in my case, like, I would want, if it was me and my makeup was bad, which it is right now, I know. I would like somebody to tell me what it is that's bad and, and you know, tell me how to correct it. If they know how to correct it, you know. Or if, you know, I got, like, this bright red blush on and it looks crazy. I look like a clown. Tell me I look like a clown, you know. Like, I don't want somebody, I don't want to go out in public looking crazy and everybody looking at me, but not in a good way, when somebody could have told me something, you know? Like, hey, blend that out. And the reason why I say this is because, honest to God, there really was a um, girl that used to work for me, and bam, red cheeks. I mean, just blush. And I never did tell her anything, because A, if that made her happy, that was fine. And that's where work appropriate comes in because I didn't, it, it didn't bother me, you know, but I can see where maybe it would be a problem for other people. But now looking at it, like I maybe should have said, Hey, 
rub that in a little bit. Tone it just a little bit down. Maybe. I don't know. Like, I really feel like if that made her happy, then it's okay. You know? Because that's what makeup's supposed to be. It's supposed to make you happy. Make you feel good. Make you feel pretty. Make you bring out the best of you, you know? Not make you feel bad for putting it on. I don't know. I find it weird. I'm rambling because I'm done. But I just feel like talking because, you know, I have nobody else to talk to, really. But if you like the video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell and then hit all. That way you're notified when I do upload videos, which I'm going to try to do at least three times a week. Maybe more. I haven't decided yet. But again, it'll just be from a consumer's point of view. Do I love it? Do you love it? Have you used it? Do you have it? Do you want it? Number one. Okay. No, it's not number one, really. Well, I, no, no, no. His, um, mm, blood sugar. His blood sugar is number one to me, to be honest. There's nothing better than that one to me. Um, I just, there's just not one. Like, I absolutely love that palette. And I have a lot of palettes, let me tell you. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a great weekend or week or whenever I post this. I don't know. I think I'm going to post it now because I don't edit because that's just not right. You should see it from beginning to end. And you did. And I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time.